On Friday, Parliament passed the 1.8 trillion shilling supplementary budget. At the end of the session, State Minister for Finance David Bahati explained that the move was meant to be a viable stimulus package to help out businesses strained by the COVID-19 pandemic. The move comes with many businesses struggling to stay afloat. We have provided for the thing that His Excellency the President has been talking about to support and take advantage of the opportunities available to us for import substitution within this crisis of COVID. Over 505.1 billion of the 1.8 trillion shillings was allocated to the Ministry of Finance. Of this money, 455 billion shillings is to be transferred to the Uganda Development Bank to support the manufacturing sector. The idea of a stimulus is positive and I think we applaud government and every uh, sane business person should applaud government for this. But we believe that the financial is coming to an end, the budget has been approved, there would not be need for a supplementary reality. Asked about this, the executive director of the Federation of Small and Medium-Sized Enterprises, John Walugembe, believes the good government gesture should focus on short-term liquidity. We've been contacted by members asking us about how to access this money. And to be honest, we have no clue. Our concern is that this money will simply sit on UDB's balance sheet and help UDB to look better in terms of attracting women and so on, which is in principle is not a bad thing. But the need right now is for short-term liquidity. And our idea would have been for UDB to set up a short-term purpose vehicle that issues uh, more short-term loans for cash flow. Our businesses to access money at an interest rate of less than 12%. Nearly 50 billion shillings is set to be transferred to the Microfinance Support Center to avail loans to micro and small enterprises. This, while Gembe says, calls for a thorough audit of circles. Sometimes you find circles where people simply form, come together to attract money, but they are not involved in any form of production. And then what you have is default. And then you have businesses that are actually operational, but are not in circle. So we need to reconcile that too. How do we ensure that money gets to people who are actually in business and who have the ability to pay? So it means that microfinance support center needs to do a little bit of more work. The SMEs, however, lauded the president's move of gradually opening business centers like arcades. The earlier we open up this economy, the better for all of us. The better for government itself because it needs to bring in much needed revenue. The better for people who are at home and have obligations to meet. So we see a positive move overall. Evidently it's tough because people are not spending. While presenting the national budget recently, Finance Minister Matia Kasaija said government intends to have a COVID-19 budget to help struggling businesses. Ali Mivole, NTV.